What's in the Jurassic Smash Blizzard? Uh, peanut butter cookies smashed together with chocolate chip cookie dough. Uh, I'll have one of those. We're here to go. <laughs> For here's good. The DQ Jurassic Smash Blizzard, an adventure in every bite. This is fan food, not fast food. Hey guys, Raptor Squad member JP Carnotaur here, and today we're going to be taking a look at these. These are the exclusive Jurassic World Dairy Queen cups that come with your Dairy Queen Blizzard, and there are six different cup variations and different sizes that you can get for each cup. All of these are really great. I love them and they're really cool to have in your collection. And today we're going to be going over each one of the cups and showing what they have to include. So let's begin. So the first cups that we have here are the Mosasaurus ones. And this was used as a poster for Jurassic World. I'm sure if you guys are hardcore fans like us, you'll already know that. You'll see that it has the DQ logo on the side there. There's a little boy staring in at the Mosasaurus tank. You'd see like a little chart that explains what the animal is. And then we have this huge picture of the Mosasaurus swimming after a great white shark. And then it has Jurassic World and some writing at the bottom. So this is really cool. And this is considered a medium uh, size cup. So you can get them in either large or medium. Next up, we have the Raptor Squad cups. You can see that I have one in medium and large. And that's really cool that I have both because they're really detailed looking cups. You'll see on the side, just like the Mosasaur, it has the Dairy Queen logo. Then you see Blue in the front, either Echo or Charlie in the back, Owen on his motorcycle, Delta, and then either Echo or Charlie. I think that might be Echo because it seems uh, more of a brown color. And this is really cool. Same thing on this size cup, just a little bit more detailed. Very nice. You can also see it has the Jurassic World logo down there and some trademark and copyright stuff. Next we have the Apatosaurus and the Gyrosphere cup. And these are really nice as well. You'll see it has the Dairy Queen logo, the trademark writing at the bottom. You'll see the Apatosaurus from a back view where you can see its back legs. Then you'll see the tail over here. And then we have the big Apatosaurus looking down at Zack and Gray in the gyrosphere. Very nice with the Jurassic World logo as well. And these are counted as size medium. Next in the medium and small size, we have the Aviary Cups, which is one of my favorites because of how cool this scene looks. The aviary is very detailed. You'll see if I give you a closer look, there's a lot of waterfalls, a lot of jungle in there, really nice. You could see some pteranodons flying. This one's looking right at the people. Same over here. The dimorphodons are up there, little dimorphodons looking out. You can see some more pteranodons, very cool. The design for the aviary is gonna be great. I cannot wait to see it in the film. It also has the Dairy Queen logo and the Jurassic World logo on both sides. The next cup shows Claire in the Indominus Rex paddock looking out at the Irex. So you could just see the snout of the Irex. This as well as the Raptors and the Mosasaur were made for posters for the film. And this looks really cool. The Indominus' teeth are just about the size of Claire's torso. And that's huge. I mean, this guy is going to be a monster. Bigger than the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You also see some cameras in the back showing the Irex paddock, which is really cool. They added that detail, try to show you guys better. And then on one side, you have the DQ logo and the Jurassic World logo. Finally, last but not least, we have the Jurassic World Gates Cup. You can see the gates of the park, and then we have the monorail about to travel inside. The monorail looks really nice. You can see it has the Jurassic World logo there. You also have the Jurassic World logo printed down on the side and the Dairy Queen logo over here. This is kind of the, the worst cup out of all of them. It's the more boring one because it doesn't feature any dinosaurs. I would have preferred if they maybe did a T-Rex cup or a Gallimimus cup, but you know, it's, it's still a piece of the collection. It's still cool to have. Here's the question I'm sure a lot of you are asking right now is how did I get these cups? Well, I went to Dairy Queen and today I ordered some uh, ice cream. It was, uh, we went down to the beach and we got some ice cream and I got this cup, this cup, this cup, and this cup over here. And another day I went to Dairy Queen and asked if they sold them. They were 50 cents a piece and I managed to get these three in the back as well as this cup, this cup, or this cup back here, this cup. I mean, they're really cheap. They're definitely, if you if you live near a Dairy Queen or if you're able to get your hands on them, definitely do it because they will probably be rare since they're exclusives. 
and at the same time it's just like the uh, McDonald's cups from Jurassic Park back in 93 so it's really cool to have these in your collection. So guys, here was today's look at the Jurassic World exclusive Dairy Queen cups. I have to say out of all of them, I love the aviary one the best with the Mosasaur and the Raptors following very uh, close after that. These are definitely the three cups that you want to get the most and they're probably the ones you'll find the most because I've seen a lot of the Raptor ones and a lot of the Pterosaur ones. And the Mosasaur I haven't seen much of, but luckily I have my share of them. Now remember, you guys can get them in size medium and size large. So if you're as big of a collector as I am, try to collect them all. So how would you like today's video? Leave a like if you guys like this video. And also comment down below which one's your favorite cup and if you guys have these or not. So this is Raptor Squad member JP Carnotaur signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next review.